Hey everyone, my name is Gamer Corey, and welcome back to another Red Dead Redemption 2 online video. Now, in this video, we are going to be doing some more money making, and we are just a little bit southwest or west of Blackwater, and I will be showing you the exact location here in just a moment. So, let's go ahead and head on down to Quaker's Cove if you guys know where that is located on the map, which is going to be right here in front of me. So the best way to get down here is I'm going to go right down this area right here. There we go. And no gang hideout, but there is a gang hideout in this location. And basically what we're going to be doing is just a little bit of hunting. We got some pelicans right here. So you guys can go ahead and shoot these cranes. Uh, sometimes they are pelicans as well. We got a pelican right there. There we go. So we got some money making opportunities for us in this location. And if you guys don't know exactly where we're at on the map, this is Quaker's Cove. It's just a little bit of ways from Blackwater, just right down here. So there's going to be Pelican. There's going to be the crane that you guys saw earlier. There's going to be some trout in the area, which we're going to go ahead and fish for in just a moment. So I'm just going to go ahead and collect these little guys right here. I'm not going to actually get their carcasses by any means but if you guys want to put those on your horse definitely do so they're going to help add a little bit of profit to your money making opportunities so there we go i'm going to go ahead and collect this real quick all right you can you can have that one my dude we got stevie with me he was joining me earlier in some grand theft auto action and we uh we can't he can kind of came over and uh, we're doing this. So basically what we're going to do here is we're going to be doing a little bit of fishing here. Um, I do have a lake lure. And that's actually the one that I'm going to go ahead and use. Because, I mean, I don't know if you actually want to call this a river. I mean, it kind of is. But I'm going to try the lake lure in this area. I'm going to go ahead and uh, throw my line out here. I'm going to see if we can actually see any of the fish that are currently in this area. And I'm actually having a really hard time seeing them. I'm just going to go ahead and give my my rod a little bit of a cast right here. Cast out my line right there. And we can see that this, the trout are already starting to come a little bit closer to us right here. There we go. We're going to go ahead and grab this guy right here. He's going to fight just and put up a little bit of a struggle. But we're going to go ahead and reel him in real quick like... But I do kind of like this area. I like the willow trees that, that are kind of going on down in this area. That's that's an easy $2.50 though. I do, But I do like the landscape in here. It is kind of a thing of beauty. You can hear that we got some more pelicans somewhere. I definitely heard one. I'm just not sure exactly where it's at. I don't see it. But there's a lot of different opportunities. Including uh, a cougar spot that is actually really not that far away from where we're currently located. And I'm hoping that on the way back to Blackwater, we'll go ahead and find the cougar. But uh, if not, this is a great extra way to make some money. I mean, that's just, if you get 10 of the steelhead trout, you're making $25 in a relatively short amount of time. Plus you have your the cranes and the pelicans that we shot when we first got down into this area. But this is pretty much an unlimited su supply of, of fish right here. So if we go ahead and uh, take a look at what we got, we got a steelhead. Actually, it's, I'm, it's, I'm struggling seeing during the day. Uh, it's right here in front of me. So let's give a little cast right there. Let's see how quickly he'll uh, go ahead and uh, get attracted to our, our bait. And then for whatever reason, the trout don't seem to spawn for you guys. Just ride a little bit of ways so that it's not, you know, on the mini-map any longer. And you're not really going to have to worry about uh, the spawnage of them because they will spawn back in. And this is an endless supply of $2.50 per fish. And just like that, though, guys, it's I mean, we've already made like $7.50 plus whatever we got from actually shooting down the pelicans and the the cranes earlier. So I'm just going to go ahead and kind of see what we got right here. I'm not really seeing any more, not seeing any more trout right now, but we do got Steve right here kind of doing his thing. I'm just going to go ahead and give my uh, line one more cast. I'm not seeing any more. 
Yeah, I'm not really seeing any more. We might have, uh, you know, might have to ride away in order to get some extra fish to come into the area. I'm just going to check to see if any are spawning in. And it really doesn't look like it. I think we've, we ran our spot dry for the time being. Oh, actually, was that one right there? Or was that just a, a different type of fish? No, it must have just been a different type of fish. And that's okay. That's some. That's how it works sometimes. So basically, all you guys have to have to do is just ride a little bit of ways away, and sometimes you will get this gang hideout to spawn as well, from in this location when you guys do ride a little bit of ways away. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna go and see if that cougar is now there. So make sure that you guys are ready with that, either having the bow and arrow or your um your bolt action rifle at the ready so um is that no i thought maybe that was the cougar right there and if you guys really honestly don't know about this specific location of the cougar it's going to be right in this area right here and i'm not seeing it usually like spawns like right here it's about the spot that it does spawn and i'm not seeing any red blips on the map unfortunately now, for me, all you have to typically do is if you guys really want to go after this cougar in this method and it's not here either coming from Blackwater to this location is just ride a little bit of ways if you guys ride towards those uh, poles over there and then basically turn around and come back. But for the most part, it should be there very quickly. So, But all you have to do is head back into Blackwater, sell our stuff, and then basically rinse and repeat. And you can do this with uh, friends. You can do this with other players. Um, it will take, a, a, you know, you'll have to ride a ways um, from the, on the mini-map in order to get the, the trout to spawn. But there are other fish in the area if you want to go ahead and fish those as well. But So basically what I'm going to do is I do have some other um, meat and other fish on me from past fishing extravaganzas so i'm gonna go ahead and actually sell that right now here at the butcher hey there, friend. so let's go ahead and do that real quick so i'm just gonna go ahead and sell and we have a lot of different things that we can go ahead and sell just because of the different things that i did have collected over the past little bit but i mean pretty much all the trout i got from this location i think i got it was either three or four from that location and maybe a couple from another location you can see that the crane feathers are giving us a dollar twenty, and we got three of them per that. So that's three dollars, and some odd cents per per whooping crane. So that's seven dollars and twenty cents total. So that it's going to make it really worth it to kind of just making sure that you guys are collecting as many things as you guys can. If you guys want to get rid of the beef, you guys can do that. I mean, I don't remember honestly where I got that from, but then we got the rock bass as well that we've collected over time. So you can see that we made decent amount of money. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to head back there and we're going to see if the cougar is there right away. Um, if not, you can just ride back to the location and you might be able to get the the gang hideout to appear. So it's like a lot of different uh, things that are going on in that location uh, to make you guys some money. You might get lucky and you might get a treasure map to spawn in that, that location. Which means that you might have access to like $150. I think that's one of the best maps that I've ever gotten here on Red Dead Online or you might not get anything at all but you might get a gang hideout to spawn and not getting a map the cougar might spawn all right guys so the cougar is there now and let's go ahead and check out what uh, cougar this is here real quickly we got a two star, so we can just go ahead and pick that thing up or we can go ahead and skin it. If you guys want the meat, you can definitely get the big game meat. I'm actually going to give it to Mr. Steve-O here. He can have the, uh, he can have the cougar. There you go. So what we're going to do is now what we can do is go ahead and ride down basically to Quaker's Cove again. And we might be able to get the gang hideout to appear in this area if not then you just basically rinse and repeat and just keep coming back into this location you can you're gonna have the opportunity to get yourself the cougar you're gonna have whooping cranes the 
uh, the pelicans, the trout, other different types of fish. So I'm gonna, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to quickly go ahead and grab out my my uh, my vermin rifle here. I'm going to go ahead and shoot this guy. How did I miss him? And I'm not seeing any more fly up right now. That might have been the only one in this area. Actually, there's one way out there if you guys can see him. He's kind of just chilling out on that area. So I'm going to go ahead and... I'm going to go ahead and skin this guy real quick. Actually, where is he at? I don't even see. Oh, there's the cranes. Oh, hurry up with your damn animations. It's the only thing that's bad about this game sometimes is the animations are, are a little too long in order to uh, get all the birds if you don't see them right away. But we still have that other one. Oh, that was the one that was sitting out over there. So now we can just start the whole process by fishing all over again. Now that we did get the, the cougar, it might be a little bit before that thing decides to spawn. But the trick is, is just kind of, you know, keep going back and forth to this location. And you guys will find your trout. You will find, you know, different, different types of fish as well. And, uh, and all that kind of good stuff. It's, it's an easy location with lots of different opportunities. And I definitely recommend that you guys go ahead and give it a try. And definitely let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. But if this video did help you in any way, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe down below. It would help me out a lot and is greatly appreciated. But until next time, YouTube, you guys keep doing what you're doing because you're already doing it. And you guys stay gaming. Thank you.